Hey everybody, Jenny Hendricks here, Century 21 Prestige Realty. We are continuing our neighborhood series today and I'm really excited to bring you Mesa Hills. Thanks for joining us again for our mini neighborhood series. We are doing the Mesa Hills area and today I am really looking forward to bringing you Legacy Park, which is a part of Mesa Hills. Before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you're liking this series, we are going to drop a new video every Thursday and hit that notification bell. So you'll be the first to get this awesome information that we are putting out there. Mesa Hills is not far from Cedar City's downtown and it is very close to the Providence Center, of course, where you've got you know shopping, dining. That's a big commercial center for Cedar City at the Providence Center. It's also very close to Cedar City's Aquatic Center. Uh, so you've got access to lots of great parks. You've got city parks, and then you've also got some neighborhood parks in the area. So when I say Mesa Hills, people in this area refer to this whole area up on top of this hill as Mesa Hills, but it's really comprised of several subdivisions. So we've got Carmel Canyon, Carmel Canyon Estates, Crescent Heights, Legacy Park, Legacy Park Estates, Mesa Hills, Royal Hunt, The Seasons at Mesa Hills, West Hills, Westridge Estates, and Wildflower. Because there's so much real estate going on in this Mesa Hills area, what we're going to do is bring you um, just a little piece of the Mesa Hills broader area every week for the next few weeks. Like I say, there's, there's a lot of different stuff happening up here. There's all kinds of different types of homes, all kinds of different lot sizes, all kinds of different areas. So I'm really excited to share this area with you. So Legacy Park is, is kind of a newer-ish part of Mesa Hills. A lot of these homes were built starting in like the early 2000s and then there was a, a really big uh, push for development in this area until about 08. And then uh, so there was a lot of a lot of these lots were filled in in that time frame. Um, there was some lots that were sort of left over so you do see some newer homes in this area like maybe 2015. Um, through like 2020, 2021, um, still being built. So Legacy Park is uh, does have an HOA and what that HOA covers is a lot of really cute neighborhood parks in the area. There's also a city uh, nature path, which is green space. So you'll see a number of homes in this area, either back up to the green space or maybe a neighborhood park. It's really, really nice. As far as schools in the area, you're going to go to um, Cedar High and Cedar Middle School, and then the little kids are gonna go to South Elementary. Price ranges in this neighborhood um, are gonna be probably towards the upper end. So you're gonna find, you know, probably on the lower end of the price range is gonna be in the upper mid range, and then they're gonna go up right up to the, the higher end of the price range for this area. Lot sizes are going to be anywhere from a quarter acre up to maybe a half acre. There's some really nice range of lots. And then as far as construction, you'll see a lot of really cool architectural details. A lot of these homes were professionally designed, um, uh, built as custom homes for the homeowners. So it's a really, really cool neighborhood. So thanks for joining me today to talk about Legacy Estates. This is a great neighborhood. If you would like additional information on any of the real estate in this area, let me know how I can be a resource for you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jenny Hendricks at Century 21 Prestige Realty. We'll see you soon.